back to my channel. So I wanna share with you guys today a super quick, small but mighty Dollar Tree haul. I found some of my wish list items, but I still have a lot more on my list. So my son needed a pencil case for school, so I scooped that up. This by far is my favorite Fabuloso scent, as I've told you guys before. Since we have dogs, four of them, we're constantly cleaning the floors and stuff because we don't like for our house to smell like dogs, you know? And this scent is absolutely amazing, guys. This is the Passion of Fruits scent, and I love it. It's apples with pears. Amazing. Picked up another bag of the chocolate animal crackers. These are my favorites. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. Look at how my nails came out. These are a set of the pretty... Uh, pretty woman nails that I got from five and below but this is the same brand that some of us have found at the Dollar Tree I picked up like a matte nude set from them from the Dollar Tree but I used the Dollar Tree glue and guys this seems like it's gonna last I hope it does I'm gonna give it a shot and see and if it doesn't last then you know I have a few more sets to play with and once I'm done with those then I'll just get my nails done like I regularly do. But if this works, I'm going to keep doing this because that's a big money saver right there. Like I told you guys before, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I pick up at least one or two bags of this rice just to always have and to stock up because we use a lot of white rice. And let me know in the comments, but I have not seen anywhere out there where you can get two pounds of white rice for $1.25. So I scooped up two. They also do have the jasmine white, uh, rice and they have brown rice. But those come in a smaller package and we're not a fan of them. We like the regular rice. I did pick up two boxes of the Pop Secret Movie Theater Butter Popcorn because... My son and I, like last weekend, we were watching movies here in the living room and having some popcorn. And we were running out, so I got two boxes so that we have there for all of us to enjoy this weekend. Hopefully, we get a chance to spend time together and watch movies and stuff. Then I, this was one of my wish list items because I want to put this, um, I don't know where yet, but I'm thinking possibly outside on our balcony if i do find those um plant holders the plant holders that some of you guys have been finding none of my stores have had them or at least i haven't seen them where you can hang them on your balcony since we don't have any plants yet we're going to be planting some i got these and these would look so pretty hanging from them you can also put these in a little pot and just DIY it, put some styrofoam, stick these in and you can hang these or you can hang these from up above. Like this would look pretty in a bathroom also. You can, um, cra what's, oh, I forgot the, her, the name of her channel, Crafty Something. I'll link, I'll tell you guys in the comments cause I'll look it up cause she's awesome. I love watching her Dollar Tree hauls. She found these and she, gave me the idea of putting these like this together and you can put them like up on a wall, up on something tall, you know, it just looks pretty guys. It's greenery, it's $1.25 at the Dollar Tree and why not? This would be super expensive in Michael's, um, what are the other stores, Hobby Lobby, you know, all of those places. They also had this one. I grabbed the ones that I found. They had three, is it three? Hold on, let me see. So I have two of these. Okay, so it was two of these and three of these. I think three together is perfect if you're gonna be putting this in like a little pot and hanging it. So that's that. Then I picked up a couple of nails because like I said, I wanna, um, if, if this glue really works and it lasts for me, I wanna be doing my own nails or I'm going to be doing my own nails. So I wanna have different ones that I can use and change them up and stuff. 
is that all i think these are it so i picked these up these are coffin style um and it's the creamy neon from la colors i love this color it's called sunrise i actually picked up a nail polish a color similar to this color so that i can paint my toes to match well it's not that similar this is super bright but you know it'll still go together i don't mind then i found these la color ice princess rise and sparkle nails these are short and square but look at how pretty it's like a denim blue and it has sparkles and these are short so these would be good to put on like you know if you want a short style i also found callen showed these in one of her hauls and she said how good these were so i was on the hunt to find these because they're really pretty this one is called gold goddess um and it's from the rise and sparkle nails from la colors and look at how pretty that sparkle is it's black and it has like a gold sparkle in there. Super pretty. And then I just picked up this. Um, this is from Seven Nail. I've never tried these before. These don't have the glue included either, which is fine because I'm going to stick to using the Dollar Tree glue. But this is basically just, um, oh my gosh, French. I couldn't think of the word. Just your classic French tip really pretty and classy then i picked up a couple of the glues because i don't want to run out and i want to be able to carry one in my purse in case a nail pops off okay this is the glue that i used now guys tell me have any of you used these on your nails and are you able to use these on your nails it doesn't say in the back but there was someone that i watched and i can't remember her name that she said that she switched from using the super glue the regular super glue to a gel so that it would be less messy my only complaint is with the glue that no matter how little i tried to put it still became very messy and my fingers kind of got stuck together um i kind of messed this nail up a little bit here but I was able to fix it with a little bit of acetone and a nail filer. So let me know if you guys have used this glue or if you know if this is okay to use on your nails because I don't want to use it unless it's okay. Regardless, I picked up two of these just in case because we'll use it for something in the house, if anything. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I have to show my son this. I got my son a electric pencil sharpener for him to have in his locker at school. He asked me for the pencil case and he wants to organize his locker, he said. So I picked him up this so that he can have that in his locker. Then I picked up um, Anna from In My Dreams. She hauled these and I fell in love with them and I was going crazy trying to find them. So they say that these are an eyelash case, okay? First of all, the colors scream 80s to me. These are my favorite colors. Um, and she opened these and she showed what you can do with them. I mean, you can do so many different things with this, right? All this is is like a compact, like where you would find blush or bronzer in this little plastic part comes out and then this part comes out as well so you can use this to store anything i was thinking that i could put the spare nails that i have left over from the sets and just carry this in my purse the glue won't fit in here i don't think but the nails will that way if i lose one i won't get embarrassed and i can just glue it you know so I thought of that and I figured I can use these for so many other different things too. I don't wear fake eyelashes. I don't know how to put them on and I don't really like them. So, But with me saying that, I did pick this up. This is the Everlasting Lash Glue Liner 2-in-1 from Myoni. Because I do have some lashes that I, I want to practice and learn how to do them. 
so i picked this up it's supposed to be a black eyeliner and it's glue so it's two for one so i'm gonna try this out and see if i can apply lashes and if not then i can't it is what it is right let's see i have a couple of nail polishes here to show you guys is that it for the nail polish yeah okay so this is color vibe so i showed you guys the orange look at that neon green yellow this beautiful teal and hot pink i figured if anything i can also paint my nails and i can use these for my toes you can do like alternate the colors like these two together would be nice to do nice and fun for the summer so i got that and then i found this this is sally hansen and it came in this little package um let's see what it is they had a couple of nail polishes like this so this is a sally hansen miracle gel in neon pink and it says it's step one so i guess maybe there's a step two maybe a top coat that you're supposed to use with this but the color is really pretty it's like a sparkly iridescent pink then oh sticking in the beauty care i picked these mini sponges up why because these are great for under your eyes when you're applying concealer under your eyes especially if you're older like me and you're starting to get wrinkles and you don't want the concealer to set in your wrinkles Here's a little tip. Before you apply your setting powder, grab a little beauty blender, or if you have a big one, that's fine. Start patting it down so that you start to kind of melt the makeup and it's not setting into your lines. Then set it with the powder and that will help prevent you from getting any creasing. You can kind of see how I don't really have creasing because i do that if i don't do that i get creasing right away so these are good for that and you can wet them wet them pump them a little bit in your hand with a paper towel to soak out the excess water and they will work perfectly sticking in the same category somebody hauled these and i was dying to find these for my girls easter baskets these are little eggs and it's a makeup blender inside. It has a little heart on the top. So I got the three colors that they had, pink, purple, and blue. And I figured I'll just keep one for me. Regardless, Destiny, my oldest, is always using my things. So it's fine, I always have extra so that she can use a beauty blender. So I will give her her own, I will have mine. And if I don't use mine, I'm sure she'll use it. So that's that. And those are super cute. And let me tell you guys that I found those by looking up, literally up, <laughs> at a shelf. I brought down the box to see what it was, and I found those. So make sure that you're always searching all over your store, especially when you have wish list items. Um, I picked up these for crafting purposes. These are the Pop Dot Adhesives um jessica from i forgot the name of her channel too but she did an amazing craft it's a surprise box and i was going to try to do that craft but i couldn't find all the things so i got frustrated and i put back what i found but she used these and i know that i can use these for some crafts that i have in mind that i'm going to be doing so i picked those up and these are from crafter square so you can find these by Crafter Square. Then Callan made one of these books for her husband for Valentine's Day. My stores did not have these. This is called My Love For You and it's a writing prompt book and it says For You By Me. So I got one to do for my husband because I thought it was a really cute idea. There's different things in here that you can write about your relationship about your spouse your other half memories and things like that so i thought that would be cute i did pick one up for my daughter in case she wants to do one for her and her boyfriend 
And then I saw this and I just picked it up. It's called Date Night and it says fun and creative ideas to enjoy together. So I thought this would be cool to read through and get some ideas for date nights and things to do and stuff. So that's that. Then I picked up this headband. I thought it was super cute. It looks braided and I don't have anything like this and this looks super comfortable. They had it in a nude color and in hot pink and I just picked it up in black. Let's see, we're almost done guys. Then I picked up these Poppet keychains because I thought they were so cute. And I'm going to put one in each of my daughter's um, Easter baskets. I got a strawberry, which I think I'm going to keep this one, the strawberry. I got a pineapple and a butterfly. So my oldest, I'll probably give her the butterfly. And then my middle one will probably get the pineapple. And I loved the strawberry, so I'm going to be putting that one on my keys. Yes, guys, I'm a kid at heart. I truly am. Then for snacking purposes, I got the Kool-Aid jelly beans. These are my favorite. These taste so good. And whenever I want something tangy that isn't chocolate or, what, or you know, like something that isn't chocolate, something that's a little soury, this is my go-to. And the calories are not bad, so that's a good thing. But then I also did get a little package of the Turtle Bites. These have become my favorite chocolate, and I haven't had them in a while. So I just got one to have whenever I'm in the mood. And guys, I finally found the Wow Surprise Hair Ties. Surprise or mini blind bags. I picked up five so let's open them together and let's see what we get if you don't know what these are they're a blind bag and they have scrunchies and you can either get the cat the pineapple the teddy bear the unicorn i don't know what this one is and then there's a bunny so i thought that these would be super cute and i can always add one to my daughter's easter baskets I got the pineapple, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited because I really wanted the pineapple. I don't know why, but I really did. I think he's so cute. Look at this. You could wear it on your wrist and then put your hair up. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. And I was feeling around to make sure and try to not get like duplicate ones, you know? Let's see what's next. These little blind bags. Oh my God. I've become addicted to them. The charm ones were really cute. If you didn't see my haul with the charm bracelets, they come in blind bags. Check it out. I think it's two videos back. Oh, this is the one that I didn't know. I think this is a cat, guys. What do you guys think? It looks like it has cat ears. I will say, though, that these you might have to grab your glue gun and glue these down a little better because they didn't do a good job with that but how cute is that i don't know if that's a cat because i kind of feel like this one is i don't know let me know in the comments what you guys think it is because i don't know okay next one let's see what's next oh i think this is a dupe so it's a dupe of the cat we're gonna call it a cat still super cute the colors are really pretty let's see the next one this is not a dupe this is the bunny rabbit perfect for easter how cute i wish my girls were still little we used to dress them up as twins for easter with little dresses and they always had their little hats they always looked so cute. Oh, and I didn't get another dupe. This is good. So I got the other cat, the one that we think is a cat. This, this is so cute. So cute. How cute is that? But see what I mean? Like you might have to fix it a little bit and glue it, which is fine. I'll glue it and I'll stick some of these in my girls' baskets, but I'm probably keeping the pineapple for me. And then 
all I need to find is the unicorn and the teddy bear. And then we have all six. How cool is that? Well, that's it, guys. That is my Dollar Tree haul for today. Have a great rest of your Friday evening. I hope you are all doing well. Please do not forget to hit the like button, comment down below, hit that bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you new subscribers. We are at, I think, 72 or 73. Let's see if we can make it to 100, guys, and I'm going to do a little giveaway once we do. Okay, have a great rest of your Friday evening, guys. Bye now.